The CompTIA A Plus Core 2 220-1002 is the follow-on to the 220-1001. You've got to take both of these tests to get your A Plus certification. So let's talk about the 220-1002, also known as the Core 2 exam. Now, it always starts with the objectives, so I've downloaded the 220-1002 objectives right here. Let's take a look. So it's exam two, core two right there, all right. So the big thing I wanna look at here, more than anything else, are the domains. Uh, before we do, notice it's gonna be maximum of 90 questions. It's gonna be multiple choice and performance based. The length of the test is 90 minutes. Recommended experience is 12 months, but I can tell you CompTIA is gonna change your mind on this again and a passing score of seven on a scale of 100 to 900. Here's our four domains. Number one is operating systems at 27%, security at 24%, software troubleshooting at 26%, and operational procedures at 23%. The 220-1002 is very Microsoft Windows centric. However, you definitely wanna have a lot of comfort, particularly on Linux, and particularly Linux at a command line, as well as Mac OS. So we're really talking about three different operating systems here. Keep in mind, we're talking about working within the GUI itself. And when I say GUI, we're talking about being comfortable both with the Mac OS as well as Windows. Now, the exam covers a number of different versions of Windows. It starts with Windows 7, goes to Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. But just between you and me, if you practice with Windows 7 and Windows 10, you'll be fine. Also keep in mind that you're gonna to have to be really comfortable with utilities. If you need to work with a hard drive to partition or format it, you need to know how to do it in these operating systems. If you wanna configure screens, anything that you need to be able to do, you should be very comfortable handling these types of utilities in all these operating systems. The 220-1002 has 24% of their questions based on security. Now, security is a pretty broad concept here. Sure, they're talking about things like usernames and passwords, using nice long passwords. Yes, of course, they're gonna be talking about firewalls, but it goes into a lot of other stuff as well you might not think of. For example, personal safety, making sure you have the right kind of goggles, taking care of your equipment, anti-static measures are really, really important on the exam, and you've got to keep yourself safe. Operating systems and the applications that live upon them often have issues, so the software troubleshooting aspect of the 220-1002 covers all these. So we're talking about things like, for example, anti-malware. We're talking about device driver configuration. We're talking about installing and uninstalling applications. And of course, we're always talking about the troubleshooting things we need to do to keep our operating systems running at peak performance. That ought to get it. Oops. I love working on computers, but unfortunately, I also have to deal with these things called human beings. And human beings need to be communicated to, we have to deal with paperwork so that they can be organized, and that's what operational procedures is all about. So first of all, we're gonna teach you how to talk to customers in a nice way, and it's actually some pretty good information. It also helps you organize your troubleshooting into a troubleshooting theory, and also dealing with all kinds of paperwork that's absolutely critical for you to be a good a technician. Personally, I find the 220-1002 to be a little bit more challenging than the 220-1001. I don't think it's because the questions are harder, but I think a lot of the operational procedure stuff, which I'm, I'd like to think I'm a people person, but I'd much rather be working with CPUs than with uh, security people. But the bottom line is, is that I find it a little bit more challenging. However, it's not that bad, and go ahead, take both of these exams, and good luck to you, and get A-plus certified.